hello everyone and welcome back to your channel technical sahil in this video i am going to demonstrate that how we can simply install wordpress on a subdomain before we proceed further i would like to request you to watch these steps carefully because we are working on a subdomain and we are using a softaclose script installer for this video so in case if you have a website on a primary domain or by mistake if you have entered the wrong path wrong path in the sense main domain primary domain instead of subdomains path so it's going to override all your existing website files uh, with the new wordpress installations best practice could be if you can take a backup before proceeding uh, to this especially if you have a uh, c panel which has a production use so as you can see i have already created a subdomain and we are gonna install uh, wordpress on that subdomain so first uh, let's find the option softaclose app installer when i click uh, it will expand all these uh, options which are available so wordpress is there uh, we need to click this wordpress i'll choose quick install and i will uh, find my subdomain here no i don't want any directory in case if you have uh, if you want to install wordpress on any directory inside the domain or subdomain so you can specify the directory name here otherwise you can feel free to go wordpress username would be admin and the password i will copy the same password wordpress email let's change the wordpress email after that we are all set so click install it says it may take three to four minutes but it won't take that much time uh, it usually uh, does the work in one to two minutes till the time it's doing let's wait WordPress has been installed on our subdomain. If we visit to check, yeah, that's the default WordPress theme. And if we uh, check the admin panel, It has opened the A2 hosting default launcher. We don't need that. We simply need to proceed with the admin panel. And that's how it looks. 
maybe it would be different in your case if your hosting is not uh, powered by a2 hosting in mine it's different i have used their script installer so that's why there are some pre default things provided by the provider but the thing is if we summarize that we can install wordpress on a subdomain like this way so that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching